Doing this is going to save you a lot of CPU, it's going to save your session from glitching and crashing and make it easier for you to use even more plugins in your song to give it that little bit extra spice. So the first thing you need to do is, yo Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to bounce a track to audio in Studio One. Now this is something you need to understand how to do because it is so important for saving on CPU when you're using a lot of intense intensive plugins and it's also great because you can get those effects and whatnot in your track bounce it to audio and then add more effects yeah so it enables you to use more effects even if you've got small cpu space so stay tuned to the end of this video and i'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step now if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter Ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here garen teeth now my question of the day is how many effects do you generally put on a track yeah let me know in the comment section down below so this, this is going to be very very interesting it's going to give me a lot of insight into what you are doing wow i just realized studio one closed by itself so let me open that back up and i'll be with you in a second okay so here we are and it's very very simple to actually bounce a track down so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bounce my main vocal track down and my main vocal track has a lot of plugins going on so let's have a little bit of this from the verse and then we're going to bounce it down and you're going to see it's, it should sound exactly the same and it should be at the same level. So let's listen back. Okay, cool. So all you need to do is right click the actual track over here yeah then you want to go to transform to rendered audio and then you want to click that and i'll do preserve real-time state so what this does is it now allows you to actually transform it back into an audio track with insert effects that is super important because you might bounce down the track and then be like wow i don't like that effect that i've got on it i want to change that i want to make things different i want to edit that a little bit and to be able to turn that back into an audio track with all the effects is super super important because what this does is when you render the audio it gets rid of the entire track let me see if i can actually move this over here so this is the track with all the inserts yeah when it actually bounced the audio <laughs> all those inserts go <laughs> all you have is the sense which i don't like that i don't like that I feel like it should create another track, if anything, with all the inserts gone, but it just gets rid of all the inserts of that track. So you might want to copy over those inserts or something if you feel like you're going to use that for another track. But basically here we've got the track and it seems to have bounced everything into different cuts, which it usually doesn't do as far as I remember. Um, but generally I'm bouncing like, one take so let's actually listen back to this and see what it's doing okay okay so it's all exactly the same level it sounds exactly the same it's it's perfect basically so if i want to change it back all i need to do is go to the track right click and go to transform to transform to real-time audio and then this will transform the whole track back and as you can see now i've got my inserts back okay so that's how it's done yeah this is a great thing because you can get all the effects of a certain track and completely get rid 
of all the CPU usage. Now I usually would use this for my doubles because I've got certain doubles here which are using a plugin like Vocal Synth, which uses a lot of CPU. And sometimes that can lead to my project crashing or things lagging up. So a great thing to do is to bounce these doubles into a rendered audio. And then I've got that vocal with that effect without all the CPU drainage, okay? So be sure to use this in your mixing sessions and your recording sessions, and you'll see a great result when you're using less CPU and you're just able to play back things smoother and you're also able to record a lot smoother, okay? Now, I've got something you are gonna be interested in a lot. If you want your vocals half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, you should grab my Spotify ready vocal mixing template. Link down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash vocal templates. Now with this, your vocals are gonna be half mixed before you even start recording. This is the same template I use every time I'm recording a song. All you need to do is change the auto tune, change a little bit of the EQ in to match your voice and you're ready to go, okay? You can just record and keep going and your vocals are gonna sound Spotify ready before you even start thinking about mixing. And that's super important because in the recording process, if your recording doesn't sound good, you're gonna end up recording it 70 more times when you didn't really need to, you just needed to get the mixing right, okay? So having the mixing right from the beginning really gives you a big advantage and saves you a lot of time. Now, if you don't wanna use all the same plugins that I use, this also comes with a PDF that walks you through all the settings step-by-step step and how to apply it to your own plugins. So whether you're using the same plugins that I use, which I do recommend, or you're using your own plugins, you can use this template or the PDF that comes with it to create the template for yourself, okay? The PDF itself is worth the price of admission, but having the template as well is just making everything super, super easy. So that's that, link down below, I highly suggest you grab it it's gonna make your recording life so much better and help you make songs faster and easier and make them sound a lot better so you can actually upload it to places like spotify and other streaming platforms now if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below and in the next video you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out